So in this problem, we are asked to find the slope of a line that goes through two given points, negative 3, 4, and 2, negative 1, using the slope formula. So just as a reminder, the slope formula is slope, which is represented with m, equals rise over run, which equals, if we're looking at two points, x1, y1, x2, y2, it's y2 minus y1, the y-coordinates of the two points, over x2 minus x1. Now, it doesn't matter which point you use as x2, y2, or x1, y1, as long as you use the same point on both top and bottom. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's say uh, we have 2, negative 1 as our x2, y2. Well, then our slope equals negative 1, our y value, minus the y value of the other point is 4 over 2 minus, since it's a negative, I'm going to put it in parentheses, negative 3. And that equals negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5. And 2 minus negative 3 minus a negative is plus a positive, so that's negative 5 divided by 5, which equals negative 1. Now, if we went in the reverse order, let's say negative 3, 4 is our x2, y2. So we start with the y-coordinate from that point, which would be 4, minus negative 1, over negative 3, minus 2. Again, minus a negative is the same thing as plus a positive, so 4 minus negative 1 is 4 plus 1, which is 5 over negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5, and we get the same slope. And that's what I meant by it doesn't matter which, which point you start with first, as long as you start with the same point on top and bottom, the same x and y point on top and bottom. So the slope so far, the slope is negative 1. Now we're going to check that by plotting on the rectangular coordinate system, negative 3, 4, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and then up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's our point, negative 3, 4, and then 2, negative 1, so 2 to the right from the origin, and down 1, and then we draw a line through those two points. Now we can pick any two points that we want to on there, but we'll go ahead and we'll choose our two points, negative 3, 4, and 2, negative 1. Now let's look at the rise and the run. So we're going down from left to right from 4 down to negative 1. So there's our rise and that equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down. So negative 5. And we're going from negative 3 to 2, and that's our run. That means we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right. So rise over run equals negative 5 over 5, which equals negative 1. And that verifies that the slope of the line that goes through our two given points of negative 3, 4 and 2, negative 1 is negative 1.